I got up so early here on the Disney Wish that I think I could quite possibly be one of, if not the first up here this morning. The Enchanted Sword Cafe doesn't open till a little bit later, which is a little bit sort of kind of disappointing because I want my coffee right now and there's only actually one coffee spot that is open pretty early in the morning at 6.30. Let's have a nice look at the Enchanted, sorry, the Enchanted Sword Cafe when nobody's here. There's the sword in the stone. Just got some beautiful touches, but there's five coffee bars on board. And there's this one right here. Welcome back to your daily dose, everybody, and welcome on the Disney Wish Day Two. Today we're splitting up our vlogs into two videos. So if you guys are not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button. But I am uh, I am up here early. I cannot sleep when I'm on Disney cruises because there's just so much to explore, so much to do, and so much to inform you guys. And I personally love being the only one up on the ship right now. I came to the Grand Hall this morning because seeing the Grand Hall very empty is something else. And it is entirely beautiful. It's kind of eerie how quiet it is. But it does have that beautiful smell that you know if you've been on this ship. You know it is... It's, oh gosh, it's like a wishing star. Here's uh, one of the coffee bars on board. I'm actually going to go on up and check the other one, the Sword in the Stone. We got wishing star. I wish this would be open, but it is not. Some nice touches. You deserve to have your wish come true. Jiminy Cricket. Oh, speaking of Jiminy Cricket, here he is. This is why... I get up in the morning. How cool. On your screen now is gonna be something that's really helpful. It's all the times of all the dinners and all of the coffee bars. Um, I have to, well, the Cove Cafe is the only coffee bar here. Good morning. In the morning that is, is open at 6.30. But then, other than that, they kind of all open at, at like 7, 7.30. I kind of wish the sword or the, the ones here in the middle that we just saw would be open. Because now I have to go all the way to the adult section to purchase some coffee, which is fine. It's just going to be a nice little walk back there. Breakfast doesn't start until 7 inside the Marceline Market, which is the buffet. But then you can also go to 1923, which is actually down below. And have a nice, like, olive cart type of breakfast where you sit down you know whatever you prefer well now that the atrium is pretty darn empty i'm going to talk about well it's the grand hall but it's technically an atrium with decks three four and five which we were just on all of them here for about 45 minutes chilling now the Grand Hall is inspired by the beauty of a fairy tale castle and it makes a bold welcoming statement as everybody walks on board. The chandelier is actually inspired by Cinderella's dress and it features four larger stars which actually represents the four other ships that came before the wish in the fleet. Now the star on the bottom of the chandelier is called the wishing star and that represents the Disney wish. This is just a rather stunning place to be on the ship. Also this is where, where we get on. And get off. We don't. We don't. We don't want to see that. We don't want to talk about that right now. Well, we're gonna head on up to where we can get coffee, and I think I might actually know another place where you can get coffee, and it's actually free coffee. Should be something on deck 11, if I remember. We gotta go up quite a few steps. Good morning. Good morning. Quite a few steps from deck three to deck 11, I believe, is where the coffee is going to be no stairs what no no elevator i i caught myself i caught myself Whew. that was tough we made it to deck 11. Whew. the marceline market will open at seven okay let's go find our coffee no one's in line yet. No one's rope dropping the breakfast, besides me. The sun is still not up. <laughs> There's a couple of people by the coffee. The coffee's gonna be directly to the left of the stage. So if you're an early riser, come up to deck 11 and grab some coffee. 
I'm gonna grab some water though. By the way, soda on a Disney cruise is all in, included in coffees right here. Pretty sure this is gonna be here maybe 24 seven. I'm gonna go head on up to the adults only section, which is kind of quite the journey to get there for coffee at 6.30. It's all the way at the back of the ship. It is 6.37, so it should be open, but it's kind of a trek to get coffee if you're an early riser here. There's only two options, where we're going and what we just saw. And here's what the ship looks like. NASA, we're almost to NASA. Cove Cafe. Right in here. Is it open? It is. I think, at least. Every time I've come here, there's always been tons of people in here. So it's kind of like our first look at the Cove Cafe. I don't see a barista here quite yet. I'm just needing my coffee. Now this is gonna be paid coffee, so let's take a look at the menu. They do things fancy on the Wish. It's on an iPad. And here it is. I mean, they can make, I believe, whatever you want, but some here's some cold drinks, hot beverages. I'm just gonna tell him to make what he, he or she thinks is good. Definitely not that. Cove specialties. From around the world? That's neat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's neat. I didn't know they did that. Ooh, that looks good. I always like to ask them what they recommend. I got the salted caramel coconut, which supposedly is their number one seller. Now, coffee, especially coffee, is not free, but you get a card. If you buy five, then you get one for free after five purchases. So we're making number one. We're definitely gonna hit five on this ship because I love this coffee and I wanna get a lot. We're also getting a print on top of our, our coffee here, and there's like kind of like an unlimited amount that you can get. There's a lot of them. Bing bada boom. We got a stormtrooper. Here we go, the number one seller, apparently. I can see why it's number one. This is gonna last a mere amount of seconds. By the way, too, I don't really generally like hot coffee. So let's let's say that as well. I'm more of an iced coffee drinker. That is unbelievable. Make sure you try it. It's not even like a heavy coconut, it's like a little touch of it. It's delicious. Forgot to be uh, transparent. This was uh, six seventy nine. By the way, you know, it is up there. The sun is rising. Now I don't really. I have a time lapse going in the back of the ship, but I don't know if it's going to catch it quite as good as it looks if we are on the left of the ship. This is probably gonna be our best look at the little kitty splash zone. I never really film this just because they obviously, kids are gonna be in there playing the Toy Story splash zone. Let me find out the hours. I'll put it on your screen. All right, is it gonna be right here? Nope. Seems like fun for kids, right? Real cute. Adults can go, can go in here and you know, monitor their, their children. If you wish, otherwise you can stay outside of the splash zone and just watch them. Lucky for us, it's seven o'clock, so let's go to the Marceline Market when it's not busy at all so we can see what they'll have for breakfast inside of the Marceline Marketplace. Marceline Market, for those of you who know, and for those of you who don't, if it rings a bell, that's Walt's hometown. So Marceline, Missouri, or AKA the Marceline Market. Cooking with character. And here's the times, lunch begins at two, or sorry, 12. 
to two. We've got our washi washi station on the right hand side. That's my little favorite secret spot of Marceline Market. So here's where you enter. Food's gonna be down to the right. But this is kind of like a little secret area. It's a dead end. I feel like not too many people know about this because it's kind of like a hidden gem. But I do know of better spots. Just want to get this on your guys' radar. See, it's kind of a dead end. You know, after we see what we have for breakfast, I'm going to stop at this coffee bar, which is now open. I'm going to grab Casey the same coffee because I think she's going to like it. Bing bada boom, here we go, chef's counter. All right, to start, it looks like we've got some eggs Benedict in the back, and of course some sausage, some asparagus. Oh my goodness, the hash browns. And then we got some turkey bacon. Hash browns, I'm gonna have to get that. And then breakfast sausage with cheddar and flan. Highlight here, the hash browns. And then we actually have some more. Looks like we're gonna have some normal bacon, just crispy bacon. Fried hash browns again, eggs, and then grilled tomatoes at the first stage. Oh wait, just kidding. There's more. We have salmon, if you enjoy salmon. I might try that just because it's the prime time to try it on a cruise. Never had salmon before on a ship. Surprisingly, it's already getting busy. Signature choices is up next. Egg fried rice in the morning. I don't know if that's for me, but they have egg fried rice. And then, uh, I, I don't know what that is. We have a little bit different options here. They have mushrooms and they have grilled um, mixed red skin potatoes with some tomatoes and peppers it looks like. And then we have corned beef hash. Everything else is the same. There's sausages, hash browns, nice. Next up we have the kids counter. We got Mickey waffles here, pancakes, Blueberry pancakes and chocolate chip pancakes. Gonna have to come back for these Mickey waffles. The Market Deli is kind of like the healthy station here, if you wanna call it. They have grits, they have oatmeal, cereal, lots of sugar, but then they have a lot of like assortments of stuff that you can mix on into yogurt as well. We've got toast here, we've got bagels, English muffin, and they do have toppings for that as well here. Jams, peanut butter, there's also milk at this station, or milk. Why did I say milk? And one of my favorites is the last station here. We've got salmon here as well, some cheese, some salami and ham all the way down. But this is one of my favorite stations because of this mango mountain hike. Make sure you guys try this. I cannot wait to get that. We have plant-based strawberry yogurt with granola. The morning snowfall is just like the mango mountain hike. It's exceptional. More yogurt, or actually, what is this? This is not yogurt, okay. That looks good, Casey's probably gonna get that. And then granola yogurt, oatmeal. More of the healthy station, because you can get fruit, some rolls, but then we get to the pastries, which isn't as healthy, but it's delicious. Assortment of desserts. That's a cool donut, look at this cinnamon roll. That's what I'm talking about, that donut right there glazed ones on the back, and then some croissants, multi-grain and regular. But wait, there's more. So right here we've got the omelet station. You can get scrambled to order, and they're gonna give you a number, and then I think someone will, will deliver it to you. You can get hash brown sausage all the way back here, and eggs, but then here's where you can get fruit as well. Fruit by the foot. That's a wrap for breakfast. I'm gonna go get Casey. They only have that side open. This is gonna open up probably when Casey is here. I mean, they don't need to have it in the morning. Both sides open. No need for it. It's gonna start getting busy though. It's getting busier in a Marceline market faster than I anticipated, so the coffee was kind of flooded. I'm gonna to try to go to the Sword in the Stone, Stone. Sword in the Stone Cafe to get Casey some of her coffee. Quite the morning adventure. We got Olaf playing in my hand. Oh wow. I'm gonna open up two of the coffee places. First one in it at Enchanted Sword. The Sword in the Stone. Let's see what they have here. Bum bum cocktails. We don't need cocktails, but that's what they have. 
Single, double, cool. I really still think I'm gonna get what I got because I think Casey's going to absolutely love it. But how fun is this? Isn't this fun? $10 for glass. We do juices. Oh, cool. Booster shot? What? That looks good. Should I get that? Oof. I haven't checked in with you guys for a while. I hope you all are having a, a good and peaceful wake up on the Disney Wish as I am. It's make sure you do this if if you can. I know sleep is important on vacation. It's just something that I love getting up on this ship. It just ugh. I don't do this on every ship. I don't. For those who've been following for a while, I, I don't. But there's something about the Disney Wish, just getting up in the morning and walking around on on the ship that I love so much. It's kind of like a tradition at this point. I want to show you guys a little bit of the app because you can't really explore the app until you're on the ship. And I want to show you the daily itinerary today too, because that's pretty much going to be the same again, because it's really hard to plan ahead because you can't plan ahead or accordingly until you're on the ship. And it's really important to know the times. Here's a look at all of the daily activities and their times. I'm kind of leaving it up to, to Casey in a way, because we're kind of having a chill morning of exploring. We're not getting off the ship just because we've been to Nassau plenty of times and it's not every day that we're on the Disney Wish. So we want to be on the ship as much as we possibly can. So uh, yeah, lots of daily activities. I'm trying to scroll a little bit slow for y'all, but you can also pause the video to see something that you might like. There's a lot going on. Hopefully there's time for a little bit of a nap here for me since I honestly only got about like four and a half hours of sleep. Yesterday's video was um, over an hour and like 15 minutes long and I've been trying to upload it overnight. Hopefully I get it. I'm a little bit worried I'm not going to get it uploaded on my birthday because the internet speed here is not really good for 4K. It's good for roaming, but it does a trick for stuff other than uploading in 4K, which you know don't really need that on a cruise ship. So the speeds aren't there for what I need it. So I'm going to have to upload my video when I get home or my videos on my, my own Wi-Fi. But yeah. That's what we got here on the ship. Lots to do, and it's pirate night tonight, but you guys will see that in tomorrow's video because this is a dual vlog. Two in one day. Karaoke at night, too. 11, 11, 15, what we got, what's the last thing? Luna, 18 plus. Closes that one. Oh. Wait, I did not expect this one. It's Taylor Swift. Isn't that Swifty? <laughs> it's, she's a big Swifty indeed. Wait, that's so funny. It was a lovely dream, too. 7.30. <sighs> Cindy wakes up. A dream is a wish your heart makes when you're fast to see. Nobody else is here enjoying it, it's just me. <laughs> Welcome to Nassau. We have officially arrived. Our first port of call. Ooh, I think he's gonna be raising the Bohemian flag. Cool. Never caught that. It's a beautiful morning. It's not even humid at all. It's like perfect. Well, Casey's doing her hair, I'm sitting here editing and I've got a gorgeous view of us just coming on into Nassau. Like, this is incredible. I've never had this before. So cool. Stunning. We've got two royals and then a carnival. I think Symphony and Liberty. That's beautiful. Well, everybody, welcome Casey to the vlog. It's nearly, I feel like, 20 minutes and she is Risen. Yes. Also, for all those asking what my sunscreen sparkles are, it's this right here. It's super goop. It's a glow setting mineral powder, but it has a, it's all sparkly. Sparkly. Yeah. SPF 35 with sparkles. Just finished yesterday's thumbnail as well. I love it. I love it.
I love it. Now let's go have some breakfast. I've now put the decorations on the outside of our door. So I'm reminded that it's my birthday. Well, a very good morning, Disney Wish. This is Carly, your cruise director, welcoming you to NASA in the Bahamas. This announcement is to inform you that the ship has been cleared by the local authorities. Oh, cool. And guests wishing to go ashore independently to explore the island. In all the We're headed into the elevator, you guys. This is a uh, part of our no stair challenge that I have initiated starting today. One time in the elevator. One time. One time. It's a very, very small elevator. Casey just wanted to see it for the wallpaper. And I actually think they switched the buttons. So you actually push them. That's nice. And that is why I wanted to, to ride the elevator. That's nice. It's actually a push button. Before it was like a sensor and people used to like tap all of them and you would stop on every floor. Oh, the difference is when you show up to eat. Oh, it's not really too bad. Just not that much space. By the way, something to note is that they will do the plates for us. We don't grab the plates. Here's what I got for breakfast. And guys, these hash browns, I think, are the best hash browns I've ever had in my life. I've already eaten two. I ate two while I was in line. And I went back to get more. I don't need anything else for breakfast other than hash browns, sausage, and the mountain hike. That's all I need. I think it's a Mickey waffle, kind of like what I had, but I honestly just want to eat all these hash browns and the sausage because they are amazing. This is saying something, and I'm still on the hash browns, so I can't get over it. They're literally better than McDonald's. They have a crunch, they have a taste, they have everything you need in hash browns. These are... Big lunch. No diet on this cruise. I didn't know they had jelly filled donuts, but they have jelly fill and I got this one for Casey. I will say you are reminded you're on a Disney cruise when you're dining. It's very loud, tons of kids screaming, running around, at least on our cruise, but there's a lot of kids. But there's plenty of areas you can go besides the Marceline. If you don't want to experience like kids running around, you can just take your food anywhere on, on the deck. And there's a nice outdoor area over there, but it's, it is loud in here, very loud. We had a relatively small breakfast because I cannot wait for Mickey and Friends Festival of Foods. I think this is some of the best food on a cruise ship, hands down. I can't wait to divulge and eat everything. That'll be in this video. So it opens at 10.45, but we're gonna get off the ship here real quick and probably come have a, an early lunch. But real quick, I, I wanted to say something that has really just bummed me out here on Disney cruises in general and this is very dear to my heart that you can no longer hide ducks on Disney cruises they banned it they banned it which I don't know how I feel about that because it's so fun to see those on every other ship especially Royal if the cast member sees a duck I think they just kind of take it and they they throw it out and that actually I think happened a couple months ago when they they ban hiding ducks on the ship. I get it from a standpoint, and actually thinking of ducks, I actually just found some ducks. This is awesome. Up here, they're really small. What? Yeah. What a nice hiding spot. Look at how small these ducks are. <laughs> wait, are these like, wait, those are actually cute, gotta take them. Yeah, away. that's so funny. As soon as we were talking about Someone's it. Someone's trying to get away with, with hiding ducks. <laughs> I mean, they banned it, but it doesn't mean you can't do it. But you know, if they see it, they'll they'll throw them out. But we're keeping these. That's we're so funny. We're cleanup crew. <laughs> I guess still keep your eye out, but they're gonna toss them if they see what them. What the heck? Olaf is like when we found ducks. Another ship has joined us. Looks like the Carnival Magic. How majestic! That was good timing. We are really in the Royal Hall because all of the princesses are here. I see Rapunzel, Tiana, Moana, Cinderella, Belle. Oh my gosh, we got Captain Mickey, we have Donald. There's so many characters right now. It's a full on character palooza. Wow. One and only number one. Number one, Donald Duck. He's got a long line. You ready? Five, four, 
Thank you. <laughs> this is Captain Mickey, the one and only. Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 Such a great job. And your outfit looks so cute. Oh, oh. <laughs> I love it. Say take I'm showing Casey kind of around the ship. Did you know there's two cinemas? I did not. Wait, there's two? Yeah. Two theaters? Uh-huh. I think there's something showing in here right now, so we might take a peep, but it's beautiful. This is the Neverland one. I'm, I'd be surprised if there's people in here. Imagine oh, having a theater like this in your room. It's your room, your house. <laughs> your room. Like, this is pretty, isn't it cool? This is so cool. I love all the little Tinkerbell touches and you have the different characters, Peter Pan, Wendy. It's so cool. Da, 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 da. Now we get to go on Peter Pan ride. They have one here. What? Yeah, we're gonna go on no. Peter Pan. <laughs> Let's go see the other theater. And the cool thing is too, they're actually showing the Disney Wish, which isn't really out on Disney Plus yet. I mean, it's out on Amazon, you have to pay for it. Oh. Now we have the Wonderland Cinema. I don't know if I have a favorite, but they are cool. Like look at the Cheshire Cat in the, in the wall. So they're showing a video or a movie. And <laughs> they're showing my videos in there right now. We'll, we'll maybe take a look at that a little bit later. Ooh, Nightingales, I can't wait for it. The second video that we're filming today because we're going to be doing a lot of a lot of trying some beverages to get off the ship make sure you guys bring all of this and here's the times for us 5 15 but we're just getting off to see the ship and then coming back on we're taking one more elevator ride down this time it's private i will say the nice thing about the weather it's not humid we're not sweating i don't feel like i'm frying stepping off the cruise ship, it is perfect weather for the Bahamas right now. There she is, Punzi! And you can see her room too. We just took some pictures and we're gonna, we're gonna head back on. I already missed the ship. We were off the ship for a matter of 10, 15 minutes and we got some Not cool even. pictures. <laughs> it was like five. I don't know. Back on we go. It is lunchtime on at my favorite spot on this ship. I'm gonna start off with the smoke sack barbecue. I have been craving this for a year. We've got smoked brisket, pork ribs, smoked chicken, pulled pork barbecue, smoked pulled pork at that, smoked sausage, and a lot of sides. And it's worth getting every single one of them because it's so good. Little tip, come to the Marceline Market. It's not open quite yet and it's very quiet. However, we are noticing a lot of people stay on the ship and then get off of NASA. That's gonna be a different story for when we are at Castaway because I believe everyone's gonna be pretty much getting off, but still a relatively busy ship. But we wanted to eat in peace, so for once, the Marceline Market is really quiet. Got a spritz here. You're looking at a plate with all of my favorites. I had to start it out with my favorites. Now, I have Kansas City and Mississippi barbecue. I don't know which one I'm gonna like the best. I'll let you guys know, but I love all of this and I'm happy to be divulging it again. Still have to try the burger. We'll probably be doing that in another video because we kind of just ate breakfast and here we are. How do you like it, babe? I just tried the pulled pork and the mac and cheese. Absolutely insane. I don't know if anyone's been to Four Rivers barbecue before, but I feel like this is like pretty comparable and I love Four Rivers. The Kansas City sauce is a winner, clear winner. I kind of had a feeling since their barbecue is always fire. Get the Kansas City barbecue. Personally, I don't really want to look at what Marceline has for lunch. I'm going to film anything good because it's very hard to cheat on this food that you are looking at right now. Side note. Make sure you guys do the Incredi Games, the Incredi course. Course, it's fun. Right now, it's like only for teens and little tiny boppers. <laughs> so, with this, everybody, we are gonna close off this video and start a mega vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed this 
amazing morning on the Disney Wish. It's almost one o'clock here. I got a shower. I'm gonna edit, and then um, we're gonna get to Pirate Night and just have a fun adults day. Adults day with no kids tonight. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. I cannot wait. See you guys soon. Bye bye. Bye bye.